Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today, I got a real treat. So thanks to Warner Mazda in Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm able to take out the 2018, or 2017, I'm sorry, Mazda Miata RF. This is a day that I've wanted to have for quite a long time, so here we go. So first off, it feels great. Clutch is very, very light. Oh, very nice gearbox. Very nice. Very small, nimble sports car. That's what a Miata should be. This is what is known as a pure driver's car. Sounds good. Wind noise ain't too bad. So it doesn't like to take first while rolling. That's but that's normal in any car. sound is so good. This car is unbelievable. Steering is nice and heavy. It's like a true sports car. That's the way it should be. This is an awesome car to drive. It's unbelievable. And once again, I have to thank Werner Mazda for this opportunity. It's an opportunity I've been waiting for for a long time. Gear ratios are very close together, which leads to nice acceleration.
even over these rougher roads, the ride is very nice. I would love to be able to put the top down, but due to the fact that it's literally 33 degrees out, that is not going to happen. steering wheel feels great in your hands. It's, this is a driving experience like none other. This is unbelievable. This is a true sports car. That turbo really helps. You can really feel it. It's a throaty exhaust sound and it's just unbelievable. The clutch is very, very short throw, but it's real easy to manipulate, real easy to get used to. I apologize for the camera hitting the roof. Just a little short. Oh, ho ho ho. This thing is good. Wow. Now this is a new car, so I'm not gonna put the pedal all the way down. Don't wanna ruin the break-in period. But man, it's, it's a light car, it's not much for horsepower, but it's a fun car to drive. It's, this is the car that shows that you don't need high horsepower to have fun in a car. All you need is an engine, manual gearbox, like this one has, this is a six speed manual, and a good driver. It's all you need to have fun in these kind of cars. And boy is this car fun. I mean, you also have heated seats, which is awesome so this is definitely a higher option this is a uh, grand touring rf that's what this one is you have your outside color painted here of course you have your roof which i'm not putting down you have your secret compartment here cup holder cup holder push button start key is right here which is your normal looking mazda key You have um, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring. You have a lot of good features in this car that you would not expect from a manual sports car. This car is unbelievable. It sounds so good. I don't I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up, but the sound of this car is just unbelievable. This is by far one of the better cars I've driven. And I've driven a lot of cars, as you guys know. I mean this is one car you can't complain about. And brakes work good too.
You even have Bluetooth in here too. This is a really nicely optioned Mazda Miata. I'm thoroughly impressed. It's my first time driving Miata too. And I'm just thoroughly impressed with how great this car is to drive. I, I can't get enough of this car. I mean, if I had the money right now, I'd go out and buy one. Warner, and if you're going to buy one, buy one from Warner Mazda. These guys are great over here. Very nice people. Very honest. And great people to deal with. I mean, and they sell cars like this where the driver is the number one object. And they said to me, they will not, they do not order Mazda Miata RFs in automatic because they should be in manual. And it just shows that they care for the driver. God, this car is so good. Let's just ignore the massive tree in the road. This thing is unbelievable. Wow. This is, <laughs> I've underestimated the Mazda Miata. I can't believe I'm saying that. I've underestimated the Mazda Miata. This is... <laughs> Where has this been all my life? Where has this car been? I made a mistake in buying my first car. Should have bought a Miata. turns quite well. Oh my god! Where has this car been? Why haven't I driven one of these yet? This... <laughs> this is an awesome car. I need more money. I need to buy one of these now. And just imagine with the roof off. I almost wish it was a little warmer out so I could put the roof down and get a feel for it. But this car, I don't, the camera's not gonna pick this up, but this car is so good. The emotions that go through you when you're driving this car is, it's unreal. This car is unbelievable.
it's oh my gosh it shows that cars can have souls and the driver still can have fun here in 2017 when driverless cars are imminent and the death of a driver everyone says is close by Maz is sitting here producing the Miata still I mean It's, I'm almost tearing up. This car is so good. I understand why everyone says this is the best driver's car. It's, it's cause it is. It's cause this car is so good. I mean, People say the Miata is not fast and they're right it's not meant for power and speed but it has power and speed it has all the things you need all the characteristics you need to have fun in a car and to be able to drive a car and I don't get it all these complaints that people have it's so good and before you write in the comments that, oh, you're just saying that to support Werner. While I want to support Werner, I'm just blown away by this car. It's so good, guys. I can't relate to you how good this car really is. And say you want to pass someone. You have the power to. Can I say this is the one of the best car? This might be the best car I've ever driven. This <laughs> this car has soul. This is I can't explain to you how good this car is. <sighs> I know I sound like I'm rambling on and. I really am because I, I'm trying to find a way to explain the feeling this car just instills in your soul. It's tearing at your heartstrings saying love me and you can't do anything but love it. I mean even when you want to do some rev match downshifts, it's right there, it's responsive. It's, oh my god. So my camera battery's running out, so I don't know how much longer this camera's gonna go, so I might as well put the conclusion in here now. Alright, so let's see how it goes in here. Oh, it's so good. It's so, it's a go-kart. That's, that's what it is. It's a go-kart. It's a light, rear-wheel drive, powerful go-kart. And <laughs> I'm tearing up. This car is so good. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's something you can't explain. And before my battery runs out on my GoPro, I want to thank you all for watching and thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Without you guys, this would never be possible and I'd never be able to do what I do. And I've only had this channel for a year and a month, right about. And I've driven cars that people can only dream of driving. And without you guys as loyal supporters of this channel, I wouldn't be driving this wonderful car. And I have to thank Werner Mazda again for allowing me to review their car and I really hope if you're watching this we can have a relationship going on where I can review more of your cars and Mazda keep making the Miata keep
keep doing what you're doing. So thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much for 26,000 views on one of my videos, the Charger Hellcat. It's, I never thought I'd be here saying this. And this, I want to thank you all for being so loyal. And while I haven't been posting as consistently as I wanted to, it's, there's a future, and the future is strong because of you guys. Because of you guys, I'm driving these cars. I'm getting relationships with dealerships, and there's so much more to come. And I have a surprise planned for all you guys in February, and only a couple people know about it. And I'll have a lot of videos coming from there, and a lot of great cars. So thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Thank you so much for your continued support of my channel. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And I really hope, really hope that this channel grows the way I want it to. And I just want, I can't say thank you enough for everyone, everyone who supported me, everyone who's left a comment on my videos telling me how to improve, all the owners of cars that I've done, all the owners of the cars that I've driven, I should say, you guys are the reasons why I'm here driving these cars. And I really hope, actually, let me name a few names. Chris Amos, thank you so much for being my inspiration. You're the one, The Winding Road Magazine and you are the reason why I got into the videos I'm making my videos this way. Dr. M3, thank you so much for the care package. Thank you so much for all that you've helped me with. Tedward, Tedward is another great YouTuber, and I thank you for all your advice. I thank you for being, you know, such the great person that you are. And Boston Autoblog, Mike from Boston Autoblog is unbelievable. So, if you haven't seen any of those channels, those four channels I've talked about, go take a look at them. Mike from Boston Autoblog, I need to personally thank you. Same thing with Chris, actually. Anytime I have any questions, you two are there for me. And Mike, thank you for being such a great friend to me. Thank you for all the stuff that you've helped me with. This, this is, I can't really explain. I can't say thank you enough for all you guys. And I hope, Mike, that we can work on a collaboration sometime soon and get all, you know, use your great video that you create and make something great with this channel. So thank you so much for watching this review of the Mazda the 2017 Mazda RF Miata. And thank you so much for 100 subscribers. This is my 100 subscriber special. This is, it's, it's special to me. It's, what a way to celebrate 100 subscribers. And thank you for all, everyone that's watched one of my videos. You guys, I would not be here without you guys. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like and a comment. I will put Werner Mazda's link in the description as well as the four YouTube channels I have mentioned and said thank you to. Please check out their channels. Please leave a comment. Please leave a like. Let me know how I can improve. Let me know how long you've been here. And just thank you. Have a great day, guys, and stay tuned for many, many more videos.